accidentally box him out because that is a very annoying disjoint that he's got. Mm -hmm. He's going to be able to get Ling in some very uncomfortable positions and possibly take the set. Yeah, but here we go. We're going to be getting into our first game here. PS2. Ling Ling, like you were mentioning, has some crazy, crazy pressure. But we're going to see exactly how good of the pressure will be. But right now, getting right into that down smash. Going to be putting on some 33%. I like how he did that too, because he didn't leave a gap possible for a dropped combo where a climb hazard comes in. He went for down smash immediately just to get the guaranteed damage. You have to do that against people who actively press buttons on a shield like that. That way you don't end up giving them an opportunity to reset neutral for free. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. A couple of nice little float cancel back here. He's just trying to control the stage here, put some good pressure on. And Enhanced PV, I don't know if the nerves are there or whatnot, but they are struggling. Have not landed a hit yet. 96%. There we go. Finally get something on the board, and we're going to see that limit come out here a little bit too. Maybe try to equalize things just a little bit. All right, so he at least gets the blade beam in there. Does, hasn't really had an opportunity to find too many openings, like you were saying. And that's just a Link playing very passively around his shield, but that time decides to commit to a back air, and he decides to rip the climb hazard. Now it's going to be on Link to adjust around that, but we're seeing Enhanced PV starting to slowly get some hits in the skiff, and he's getting it back to even. Mm -hmm. Okay, there we go. Gets that forward. Oh, controls the space. Nice Nair. Knew the roll-in was going to be coming around, and that's going to be it for Cloud. Man, no, that's definitely going to be a little bit rough there for Enhanced PV. But you know what? 80%, not too bad. You can definitely find a way to take this stock without taking too much percentage. 100%. It's all about damage mitigation at this point. You have to turn up Enhanced, so you kind of pressure the fact that you're going to be able to act out a shield pretty quickly compared to normal. Mm -hmm. And even with the Climb Hazard, now you can land a combo. But it throws it away, trying to find a space back air, maybe a falling, oh, like short hop, or excuse me, short hop up air as we see Daisy go airborne. But once Link gets a hit like that, his reward on hit is really, really good. Mm -hmm. And there we go. Continue to try and put on some damage. Here, taking 49 so far, tries to get the up smash, but Ling Ling gets a little too elusive, not gonna get caught up by that. And you're back off stage, Light Trap Scenario, not gonna get anything too crazy. Can Enhanced PV find a way to take the stock? Yeah, we're seeing a very good example of Ling not committing too hard with the lead. A lot of times people go in too much. That time decided to go with the aggressive option of using the turn up from ledge to mm. hopefully force shield, but Enhanced PV not falling for that. Yep, there you go. We're gonna throw out the blade beam, but Ling Ling's gonna dance right around that. Not a huge deal. There we go, gets the climb hazard, 15%. Good pressure on the shield, just, you know, not throwing anything out, not trying to get punished for anything, but trying to let Ling Ling know, I'm right here. If you press a button wrong, you're getting a big old hit. It's a really good data collecting opportunity mode, too, because you get under that platform as a character with a good disjoint like that, see how they constantly jump away from you. If they got sh good shield discipline, maybe you get a grab later on. But Ooh. unfortunately for Ling, actually sends a back in on the right-hand side of that Nair. Still at kill percent, so a fair or possibly a back throw at ledge, like right at ledge, should take it out. Mm -hmm. There we go, gonna put him right back off stage. Got the climb hazard, gonna have to use it. Gets back the stage safely the turn up will miss but the grab forward throw not gonna kill enhanced pv has at least one more shot at the stock here probably could be looking for a jump call but actually tries to check him with he does down tilt to down smash a lot at the ledge to try and force hmm. people to jump up and try and challenge him but that climb hazard is a very good check to that skiff yeah and here we go we got full rage cloud on deck here this is going to be a really tough problem for lingling Ling. they got to be very careful choose carefully exactly how they try to get in on enhanced pv but the dash attack going to clear that up no worries at all up yeah. two stocks to one very scary call, but a good call. Decides to go in. We were talking about that 200%. That's a lot of rage attached to that. Very quick up smash, though. Mm -hmm. Ends up getting through. Uh, unfortunately, that was 100% misinput. Goes for the wrong way. But does get crossed Ooh. up on the roll. This is a good opportunity for Ling. But actually, the quick down there out of the, the scramble there actually worked out and got him uh, forced to the ledge. Mm -hmm. All right, there we go. Going to be trying to throw out some of these back airs. Very good move for Cloud, by the way. Dash attack going to be able to get something started. Keeps putting the pressure down. Ling Ling's going to find a safe way down. Oh, wow. It actually forced the limit, actually. Uh, Enhanced PV tried to get something big, but Ling Ling was able to interrupt it. Yeah, it looks like he was trying to wake, wake up and use Climb Hazard, but he gets the trade, so that's huge because now he's got a lot more work to get back to that. Any straight hit was going to put him deep off stage. It's probably not going to kill, but then he's got to deal with turn up pressure as he recovers back, and he's mm -hmm. got to show Ling that he could do that. Oh, Ling Ling's got a very small shield right now. They have to be very careful. Okay, they should probably have about a full shield right now, but man, Enhanced PV is putting so much pressure on there. Probably could have gotten into a situation with a shield break, try to find a way to even up these stocks. But look at this, 124 right now. Ling Ling is super good at putting the pressure. Enhanced PV will sneak a back air in there for this stock. But however, 124 to zero, man, we know what, we know what Peach and Daisy yep, does. Yep, and I already know you, Ling, knowing if I stay up here for a little bit, guess what? I'm wasting a lot of your 15 seconds. So you got to use it granted. Looks oh. like if he, Enhanced PV is about, okay, he did get rid of it. Now Link could go in. He did not want to get possibly hit by a cross slash or maybe even, maybe in a hard read, uh, like down B. You don't want to get killed by the finishing touch. Now Link has him in a spot where he can get a throw, but Enhanced PV, he is slowly starting to get these hits and he's starting to work his way in. Link has to find a kill ASAP. 
Oh, no, seriously. I mean, a full Rage Cloud is not something to mess with. 72% now. Going to be looking for some big options. The back are not going to be able to get in there. Ling Ling's going to be able to put the shield up. The pressure keeps going back and forth. Has to spot dodge. Yeah, he's at risk of a shield break. Yeah, he's forced to spot dodge here. Gets behind him, but doesn't get the hit. Oh! The shield is so low. He gets the reverse hit in there. Now he's forced to deal with the possible oh! turn up. And he gets by. Oh, the fourth throw should possibly do it here with enough pummels. It's not. He's going to force him to go high. And now he has limit skip. Oh, oh God. That was very devastating. Uh, not be able to land that at all, but we got the fourth throw off stage. Getting to position. Okay. No, and that's going to be the trade. But Enhanced PV is not going to be able to take the victory here. Unfortunate position. And this is only game one. I got so damn scared oh. for everybody there. It's like, wait, was it the forward air? Was it the nair? What was it? And you, that's just, that's the testament to how scary this match is. Look how close this was. He was behind yep. him, so he tried oh. to go for the back air or a trade right there. That is a hilarious looking <laughs> <laughs> data. Oh, can we call it? Oh, can we go back in on that? It's like, zoom, enhance. <laughs> so how did I get here? So, <laughs> <laughs> so luckily for Ling, he was able to close uh. it up. But Enhanced PB was very much in the match the whole damn time. Even after he was getting pressured, Skip, he was able to get it all the way down to the last spot. And you already know, a cloud, like you said, with that rage, even without limit, is extremely scary. Yeah, I mean, dude, once you get that rage, too, you get a couple of backers, all of a sudden you're like 80, 90%. And I mean, I know clouds don't usually go for forward smash reads, but mm -hmm. if the one situation they go for it and they land it, especially at ledge, you might as well kiss that stock goodbye. Exactly. And now we see uh, already, it's like starting things off pretty quick, but like, oh. 35% is not much in the Daisy matchup. You need to make sure you put on a lot. One hit from them usually equals about 50. The up tilt actually pushing them back up in the air. Mm -hmm. I'm curious to see how Enhanced PB approaches its match this time, Skip, because we saw it before. He kept losing out early on, but able to bring it back. Does he play a bit more passive along with Link? Because that, that timer was getting pretty low. Yeah, no, it was uh, definitely getting a, a little scary. I mean, I don't think we're going to be at risk of a timeout here. I just think both players, uh, they're, they're not worried about that. They're worried about just trying to make sure that they're spacing their moves as best as possible, making sure they're not pushing their openings any further than they really need to. So, I mean, it's really just going to be calm, collected gameplay and counterplay. Yeah, and the big thing that comes in with uh, Peach and Daisy in general is object coverage. But also, the same thing goes for Cloud. So you want to make sure that you're keeping... Oh, got the single hit! That forces him to go low, but he immediately recognized the position he was in. A lot of people end up SDing there because they get super scared, but not the enhanced. Uh, well, I mean, you extra saw that steps. pressure. It, yeah, was extra <laughs> it, it was down smash with extra steps. It's still fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but listen, I mean, that's what Ling Ling's so good at. Like, as soon as they're able to find an opening, right, even if they can't find an opening, the pressure they can put on your shield is just absolutely astronomical, right? So, I mean, to be in that situation, not just on ledge, but any sort of shield scenario, right, I'm not surprised that Ling Ling was able to close out that stock. And they're going to continue to try and find ways to build up this damage here. Look at these float cancels. Dash attack. All right. Yeah, damn, look at that birthday. Throw the cakes at him. That's two back airs <laughs> in a row. Gets the down throw into the the reverse hit of Nair as well, recognizing the DI was up, so you want to make sure you go for a Nair instead of back air in that spot. You got to watch out for your jump right now, because Ling is trying to bait it out, as well as possibly a climb hazard or maybe a rip uh, side B, which we haven't really seen too much out of Enhanced PB. There's not been too many cross slashes. Yeah, they had to throw out that blade beam, because I'm pretty sure the timer is running low. Going to get the weak hit on that up smash, a little unfortunate, but you know what? We'll take the extra damage at this point, because right now it seems like Enhanced PB is bleeding here. Yeah, and you see he's starting, he's trying to get that shield down. You want that, you want that back air shield focus as much as possible, especially against a character who likes to jump, because usually Cloud's pretty good at playing anti-float. You want your big hitbox forces them to stay grounded, mm -hmm. but Ling is actually answering pretty well with the shield game. He's actually not getting grabbed too much and respecting Enhanced a lot on the ground, refusing basically to go airborne at all. All right, but there we go. We're going to get that dash attack, getting that sack out of the way. But kind of the hop on your point, I mean, that's just what Peach and Daisy are able to do, right? And Ling Ling does it so, so well, is that you're not able to just pressure so much on the ground, but even like in like midair and even like really above as well, just because of that float mechanic. It, it's absolutely crazy what this character is capable of. But right now we're seeing Enhanced PV starting to get a little bit of damage here, trying to get some combos going. I mean, he had a really good idea a second ago, trying to read the tech in place with that fair that would have led to a spike while he fell through the platform. That would have been up air strings. So it looks like he's trying to find his opener. He knows that with the rage, Ling is scared, oh. but he forced the air dodge. That was an assisted kill because he got him to go too low. Unfortunately for Enhanced, so even with that good air dodge, he didn't have the recovery available to get back with the jump. You know, a couple a couple nice reads here into maybe a spike from Enhanced PV could even this game up immediately. I mean, 
Ling Ling can basically recover from anywhere, but when you go too low underneath the stage, Daisy can struggle sometimes getting back to that ledge. Yeah, you want, like, this is basically, the, like, this is end all be all. You have to find a big KO soon if you're enhanced. You need that, you need that forward air spike, or you need a big hit on a mistake from Link, especially at 97, while you have limit. If you can find a big hit now, you can get yourself back in. Tries to go for the cross slash, oh. but Ling not committing at all. I know that's the danger zone. I'm going to stay out here. Dude, and Ling Ling's so good at that. Just bobbing in and out, just bob and weave, bob and weave. And like as soon as like you think you have an opening, nope, it's Ling Ling's. They were just waiting for it the whole time. Like they just pulled the strings and they just wait for you to make the mistake. And Ling Ling's gonna continue to put down this pressure, dominate this game too. Two stocks to one. Even if they lose a stock here, 114 already on Enhanced PV's final stock. I will say though, with that last game, even after that big lead that he had, it did get down to the wire. So Ling could be it could end up being a little scared. Forces the air dot, tries to go for the trump, gets him the re-grab, and then that was very uh. smart because he knew with living on hand, he would swing, and then he catches the roll in. Option coverage galore. Ling is going to take it, and I believe that was possibly to move on into winner side of top 32. If not, he has at least one more round he has to face. But getting a W in a matchup he actually was a little bit worried about before we came here today. We were talking about it uh, on the right here. He was generally very scared of Cloud because Enhanced is a really good player, and he approached the match extremely well. But Ling just kept it simple, and like you said, the bob and weave. When danger happened, he did not hold forward. He went away and mm -hmm. made sure he 